Hello, amazing artists, and welcome back to Art Class with Mr. Mazur. So this year, a new school year, a new art project. Our first one, we're going to be doing an underwater self-portrait. So um, I have put some traceable goggles at the tables. So you're going to be using that to trace, and that is going to be our starting point. So let's just dive right in. Now you're going to be drawing with pencil. Remember, if you've taken art class with Mr. Mazur before, you always want to draw lightly with your pencil so that if you make a mistake, it's a lot easier to erase. So do not draw dark. Don't push hard. Also, during the video, make sure that you're watching what I draw first, and then I'll give you a little bit of time, and that's when you're going to draw. So you're going to want to watch me do it first and then try to do it yourself, okay? So first thing we're going to do is we're going to start now our paper. We're going to have it long ways, so it's going to be horizontal. Long. Now, these are going to be your underwater goggles that you're going to be wearing. So we're going to put those at about the middle of the paper. Now, if you, so you know we're gonna be underwater, your hair is gonna be kind of flowing around in different directions. So if you have very long hair, you may wanna put yours off to the side just a little bit, and then you can put your hair kind of free flowing in the water. That is your choice as the artist. If you wanna do it right in the middle, you can. So it should be about the middle, just like that. Now I'm drawing with a Sharpie just for contrast because that'll be nice and black so you can see it really well. So first thing to do, lay that down where you want it, hold it with one hand, and remember like I said, draw lightly. So if, you, if it moves or you mess up, you can erase it and fix it real easily. So boom, just like that, and now we have our underwater goggles there. Now, next step, we are going to trace it. And you can trace it on the inside or the outside. Doesn't really matter. We're gonna keep those lines very close together though. So, you're just gonna follow that line that we just drew. Make our underwater goggles. And it doesn't have to be perfect. I always like to think that those little imperfections are what makes it unique and more interesting, so. But if we take our time, we should be good. Now, to draw the eyes, we're gonna start with a circle. You can do that right inside the goggle. Just a nice, perfect circle, just like that. And I'm gonna do that on the other side as well. So you should be drawing all of these things right along with me. Now, I am going to draw some highlights in my eye, so I am going to draw a nice big circle here, and another circle down on this side. And this part will fill in, but we'll color that in later, so don't worry about that. And I'm going to do that on this side as well. I'm going to make a circle, and then a little bit smaller of a circle there. And that's going to be the pupil, the real dark part of our eye. Now, I'm going to make a kind of crescent shape, if you know that from how the moon looks. And I'm going to do that this way, so I'm just going to go to the top of my circle and add a little bit of space there. I'm going to do that on this side as well. Go right to the top. You see how that's kind of a crescent shape like the moon? And I'm going to do that one more time. Just like that. Beautiful. Now, I'll give you the choice if you would like to add some eyelashes your eyes you could do that now if you really look at someone's eyelashes you know that they are curved they are not straight lines so we don't draw straight out to make eyelashes you got to curve them a little bit just a nice slight little curve and you can add a couple you can add them you know all along the edge that is your choice now the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna draw the nose and I'm gonna draw a real simple nose three curved lines real easy so our first line is gonna be Kind of like the letter U, a little flatter though. Just a little curve like that. And then I'm gonna draw kind of like the letter C, kind of right next to it. And you know the goggles are probably gonna be resting on your nose, so you can draw it like that. And then I'm gonna draw backwards C from that side. You see now we got a really cute 
realistic looking nose. Oh, wow, that's looking real awesome. Okay. Now, next, I am going to draw, since we're underwater, we got our goggles. We're also going to need a cute little snorkel because that's how we're going to be breathing underwater. So, I'm going to start by making a line underneath my nose a little bit. Just a straight line like that, just a little bit wider than my nose. And I'm going to make kind of like a square, but it's going to have rounded edges. So I'm going to go down and then down, but I'm not going to connect it down here just yet. So I'm going to go down here again. Just little curved lines there. This is going to be the part where we put our mouth on for that snorkel. Now, I'm going to make a curve right in here, just like that. It's gonna look like a frowny face, but that's, that's actually not gonna be our mouth, so don't worry about that. Now, the next thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna draw this coming out and curving up. It's gonna look a lot like the letter J. So, it's gonna come from here. We're gonna go down and slowly curve up. And remember, boys and girls, what I said about drawing lightly and slowly so you can get it right. And then I'm gonna follow it, same thing, just right here. And you wanna make sure you keep these nice and even. It should be the same distance from one another or as close as you can make it all the way. See how that looks like the letter J? Now I left a little gap here, so I'm gonna close that in, connect it, and if it's not connected on the other side, you can fix that up now too. And so we're gonna have a little smile coming out of the sides there. So I'm gonna do a little curve and a curve. Put the little corners of my mouth there. So I got a nice big smile. So we love swimming, fun, fun in the summer. Then I'm going to make my chin. So I'm gonna go kind of from here. Now when we get to the snorkel, we're gonna to have to jump over because this is gonna be in front of our face so we wouldn't see the line. And then I'm gonna connect it up here. So. We're gonna go down, just a little bit below there, stop. And then we're gonna pretend like we're drawing here and it would probably go to about here. And then we're gonna curve it up, Boop, just like that. All right, so our underwater self-portrait is looking great. Now, next thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna close off the top of my snorkel here. I'm gonna draw a little ellipse. This is kind of like an oval shape. And I'm going to draw another one on top of there. Just like that. Beautiful. Now our next step, we're going to add some ears. Those are going to be right about here. Your ears and your nose are usually right in line with each other. So I'm just going to add a little curve. And if you want to add a little fold in there, because you know our ears have all those creases and folds in them. I'm going to add it on the other side as well. All right, looking good. Now we're going to go to the top and add our forehead. So we're going to follow the outside line of our face and we're going to jump. So our face would probably go to about here. So my forehead's going to come up. I want to make sure it comes even on this side too. Just like that. All right, now fun part here. So how long your hair is, that's how you're going to make the wavy moving around hair. So if you have it very long, you can kind of do it to the side coming out. You can do it kind of going up. It could be going in different directions. Um, if you're going to do it this way, we're going to draw just like the face. You know, you'd start your hair, but then stop because it would go behind your snorkel. Now, Mr. Mazur's got very, very short hair. So Mine's not going to go too far, but it is artwork, so I can be a little creative with it. But I'm going to have my hair kind of just floating off, kind of looks like fire. This is, I would call this kind of like a wavy zigzaggy line, just like that. So there's our fun, cool hair going everywhere. Now, next step, we're going to add the neck and shoulders kind of coming down here. So I'm going to draw a little curved line. We're going to come out just a little bit. Now it's going to go behind our snorkel, just like before. I 
good probably on right about there cool now i don't wear a shirt when i go swimming so i'm just gonna have bare shoulders now remember your shoulders are gonna come out farther than your head if you look to your side and i'll show you in class shoulders are a little bit wider so we're gonna kind of curve them out make sure it goes past the ear and then just bring it down off the bottom of the page and i'm gonna do that over here as well just like that now if you wear a swimming top girls usually do that um, you can add you know a little strap here to do the top of a swimsuit um, but that's totally your choice now there are some things we could add some little details to like if you want to instead of having just a one you can add a kind of like this which I think looks a little more realistic. Now we have, instead of one line, we have two lips because everybody's got lower lips and bottom lips. And if you want to put, you know, some eyebrows in there, Mr. Mazur's got really thick eyebrows, so those would definitely be in my portrait. So I'm gonna add them, just like that. And that is our underwater portrait. So I'll give you a couple more tips in class about how you're gonna add details to this and what we'll do later. So. Hope you had a great time drawing with me, amazing artists. We'll see you next time.